to my channel. Today is Monday, November 25th, so we are one month away from Christmas. And to honor Christmas being only one month away, we're gonna have we're gonna kick off some Christmas content. Now I've already had like my Christmas decor haul and a couple other little things, but today we're gonna get really Christmassy. So it is Monday. I'm on Thanksgiving break. Hallelujah. Um, I was really worried they were going to take Thanksgiving break away because we had a false alarm with a hurricane um which led to a whole four days off but we um the kids aren't making up any of them and teachers are making up two out of four but they're gonna be during post planning i don't know really what we're gonna do during those times because i'm like we don't need like over a week of post planning but we'll see um so today is monday and my plans for today are that i am going to eat my lunch which is heating up in the moment and then i'm going to head out and do some shopping i am specifically going to be looking at some christmas presents specifically i know lots of specifically i'm getting like a little baking gift that i'm going to be posting on here which is the main point of this video and i'll look at some other things purchase a couple other things um i've already purchased two christmas presents this morning that i bought online which i'm super excited about um they were both for my husband now pause if anyone actually knows me please don't watch this video because it's going to include christmas present shopping but i don't think anyone who knows me actually watches my videos so we should be fine <laughs> um so in this video i'm going to get some stuff and i will mention i did buy two things this morning for my husband and so I got him like a little sweater and then I got him a Disney candle from the Magic Candle Company which I'm super excited about. It's called um, Walter's Office and I think it's gonna smell really good and I think he'll like that um, and they did give me like a little code that I can share with you so I'll put that down below. Um, yeah so right now I'm gonna go eat my food and then head on out. This is how we know it's officially Christmas time. I know Thanksgiving hasn't happened yet this is like my favorite Christmas CD. No joke, a couple, I, I got it when I was like 16. My friend got it for me. And then actually, she got me this one. And then it was either two years ago, I think, that I put it in and it was so scratched up that it wouldn't work. And I literally that day went to Target and bought a new one. It's beginning to look a lot like So I just got out of um, Marshalls and I was, I wouldn't say mildly successful. So I went in looking for like two specific things and then a couple general things and I got both the specific things. They were still there. And then the general things I was looking for, I did not find, but I did get a gift for my aunt, which is good because I had no idea what to get her. And I wasn't planning on getting these, but I got these little baby Christmas booties that rattle for my friend Julia which who I'm going to hang out with today so I wanted to show you that before I give them to her today so yeah um now I am headed over to home goods so I should be very successful there we shall see hey everyone so I am back actually it is like almost really it is five o'clock now um and so I just yeah i just got back so i went shopping and then i went to my friend's house and hung out with her for a little bit she just had a baby so we just kind of chilled hung out so we just hung out talked drank some coffee and now i'm gonna show you what all i got um so i did very very well actually i'm quite content with myself originally this video was gonna be how to make a do-it-yourself like baking present but now i have like three different presents. So I'm going to show you what I got and then we're going to move on from there. Are you going to drive me crazy? Just first. And I got this Ray Dunn. I'm going to close the door on you. This Ray Dunn um, dog treat bowl that says bone appetite, which I just thought was adorable. This was only $10, which is pretty good for what it is. Um, and it's just a little dog food container. 
our treat container. So that was really cute. My aunt just got a dog so this is for her. So I got her that. And then I also got her some little um, cute little Christmassy dog treats. Yes, I paid way too much for these, but you know what? They're adorable and they'll go together well. So there's um, present idea number one for someone who has a dog or even a cat or something could work um, would be, you know, like dog treats and dog treat container and then maybe even like a little toy to go along with it. I did not because I think she has plenty of toys, but let me get those two little things. Um, this next item is the only thing I bought for myself and it is a Minnie Mouse apron. So this is like the Christmas pattern. This might've been last year's, so I don't know. Um, Cause I'm not that up on it, but it has little Minnie and Mickey faces and it says Mickey and Minnie. And I was like, I'm gonna be baking cookies tomorrow. And I just thought that was super festive, super cute. Also only $10, so quite happy with that. Um, and then this is for my husband. We saw this the other day and this is actually this and the um, apron are what I went to Marshall's for. So this is a Ray Dunn little candle set and it says chill and unwind and then it has the little matches in a glass jar that says relax and I believe if it's like the other one that I have um it has a little like strike on the side so that you can um get to it I'm gonna move these dog treats out of sniffing distance from the dogs um because they have discovered that um, so that's what I got Marshalls. I thought that was pretty successful. I also got those little um, booties for my friend's baby that I showed you earlier, but I already gave those to her, so I don't have them now. Um, and then I went to Home Goods, which was very successful. So what I went looking for was this. I wanted the apron, even though I don't need the apron, but I wanted the apron. And then I was looking for um, a two cup measuring, glass measuring cup metal measuring spoons and cups and then I wanted to put them all in like a mixing bowl and maybe add a little bit more to it so that was gonna be one present and then the other present was gonna be like a baking dish and a spatula and I'm gonna get a cookbook I've already decided which one I'm gonna get I just haven't ordered it yet um, that I'm gonna put in it so this is what I got basically um so I was very successful at home good Oh, and then I also got these um, Godiva chocolate caramels for my husband because he really was wanting some the other day and didn't get any. So I ended up getting this set of the measuring set. It's called a Baker's Dozen measuring set. So it has the spoons and then the cups and then it has these that say um, smidge, pinch, dash, and tad, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and so it ended up being like 12 13 dollars altogether but i had a set of measuring spoons in my hand that were six by themselves and i couldn't find the cups at home goods so i was gonna have to go somewhere else and i was like well if the spoons are already six dollars like i might as well just get this and get everything so that was my thought process there so that i think turned out well um and then i got i'll save that and then i got i did end up getting a glass measuring cup so this is a two cup one if glass and it was three dollars which is a very good price for that and then the mixing bowl i got for this present number one um i ended up getting this one so this was eight dollars um side note if you don't know what color someone's kitchen is my suggestion is to get either clear or white so this is actually just clear but it has a lid on it which i always love when my measuring bowls or baking dishes have lids on it so i thought that was absolutely wonderful um and then you take the little stuff out then it looks just like that and it's a pretty good size not gigantic not tiny and we like that um so there's that and then um, I got these spatulas so it was a set of four and they're four different colors and it was oh the thing fell off I think it was four dollars for all four of them and I'm gonna split them up and do two with this and two with the other present which again is gonna be a cookbook and then baking dish so this one's just a white one it was um, seven dollars 
Um, but it's poor, it's, yeah, it's porcelain, it's pretty good. Um, it says it can go in the microwave or the oven or the freezer or the dishwasher, so we like that. Um, and I'll do this with a cookbook in it and then two of the little spatulas tied on top. So that is my master plan. I guess I'll get these things ready to go. All right, so present number one idea. This is good for anyone who is, you know, basically over the age of 18. Um, but that would be a mixing bowl, maybe with a lid, measuring cup. You seriously, I have two of these and I could still use more. Um, measuring cups and spoons and spatulas. Present idea number two, also good for a baker, would be baking pan, a cookbook. This is not the one I'm getting. I'm, I'll link the one I'm getting down below. It's a friend's cookbook. And then also some spatulas. If you wanted to make it extra wonderful, you can include a dog or a little apron. Stop. And present number four is, we're gonna call this the chill, relax, and unwind present. And that would be candles and some chocolate. All right, friends, I hope that that helped you get a couple ideas for presents. I know it's really early, people are, I've been texting people like, what are we doing for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? And they're like, but it's not even Thanksgiving. I'm like, I know, but, I know that I'm going to be super, super, super busy um, when we get back to school. If you watch my um, something about self-care for the holidays when you're a music teacher, or music teacher self-care for the holidays, I don't know, something like that about self-care and the holidays, music teachers, um, I'm going to be really busy. So I'm trying to get everything out of the way if I can. I was going to give you a nice, satisfying, like, wrapping present scene, but I'm out of tape, so I'm not going to do that. I'll have to go get it tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for presents, I'll leave them down below. Anything tried and true or good for anybody, let me know. I am going to go try to get rid of this massive headache that I have. Hopefully it's like a pressure thing. Like when I poke, when I push right here, it goes away. Um, I'm going to clean this stuff up and be on the lookout because I'm going to be coming back with some cookie baking and some wreath making and other festive things. Um, and then in December, I'm doing some sort of vlog mess. So there's going to be a lot of videos. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of them. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week.